of all the banks that are doing their own programs on the back of this infrastructure, yes. ICICI Bank with Vodafone, SBI with um, Bharti, Airtel, Yes Bank with Nokia, um, how would you describe the level of complexity uh, in terms of building the interfaces um, or the amount of work that's required from your end to help support the bank-specific initiatives? On the interbank money transfer is just one of the many utilities <coughs> in the mobile application of the individual banks. So the customers of banks, they get mobile banking package whereby they can do a variety of banking services. It is only the interbank mobile payment trans related utility that really comes to NPCI gets involved. The rest of are internal to the banks. Customer and the customer's bank. And there they have got uh, all bank account related information, card related you know, services, uh, uh, different kind of uh, M-commerce services, uh, bill payment services. The banks, but they are all intra-bank. The merchants are owned by the banks, the customers by them, all intra-bank. So the, in the NPCI's IMPS, initially we have started with interbank person to person money transfer now we have it has been opened up for uh, for all types of money transfer be it p2p or uh, p2 uh, p2m mm -hmm. person to merchants mm -hmm. even in fact uh, reserve bank has also permitted even pull type of transactions the merchant themselves can pull transactions so the Regular insurance payments. company, insurance company, right. can s pull the transactions from the bank and uh, from the customers, and the customer would have to authenticate the transactions. That right. is also now feasible, and the work is in progress. Right. It has not been implemented as yet, but the uh, infrastructure development work is in progress. Right. And do you see yourself um, developing the applications like? barcoding and, and stuff like that which are visible on the screen in, in order for facilitating P2P type payments? Uh, some banks have been doing it uh, internally so that, that but at the interbank level not, not it has not taken place understand. but understand. there are some ideas which are coming up like if somebody is going to the railway station and normally the person really stands in the queue to buy a platform ticket. So while heading towards the railway station can he really from the mobile itself buy the platform ticket and directly enter into the really platform so the the ticket will be delivered to the customer uh, on the screen of the mobile and there has to be a reader on the uh, on the platform the railway stations so, uh, so we have to work with the railway authorities we have to means different uh, authorities for doing this some individual banks have started the work but at a, uh, you know, all the banks putting together at NPCI level, we are yet to do that. We have plans to really do, uh, take up initiatives of this nature. Just two more questions. Um, how is the NPCI constituted in terms of risk management? You know, how much are you well capitalized? Um, and, and what is the mandate um, in which you relate with your banks and the regulator? Uh, and two is that there are 750 million uh, mobile phone owners in, in, in India, or 750 million mobile phones out there in the market. Um, what percentage of that market do you expect to see mobile payments being a part of? Uh, the, let me, there are two questions then, not one question. First is really the risk management part. The risk management <coughs> uh, at NPCI level, we, uh, because it is a real-time system, and uh, the beneficiary gets good money. That means he can immediately uh, makes you, uh, can uh, the can make use of that. Uh, there has to be a good interbank uh, uh, settlement guarantee mechanism. The way we have structured the product is, is sending bank uh, sending banks net position is monitored by NPCA at after every transaction. He, suppose uh, a customer sends thousand rupees on the system. We, when the transaction reaches NPCI, we first check whether it is uh, the banks has got adequate liquidity. So liquidity check is done at every transaction and we take as high as 50% of the margin money. So every bank has got a limit. It is 
dependent bank de determines the limit. Bank says my limit should be uh, one crore, means uh, ten million rupees. Right. So the bank has to really fund NPCI in advance five million, just fifty percent of that. And every transaction, both outgoing and incoming, it really uh, works out in the net position. So we take care of the interbank settlement extremely well. So this we we are managing. So it is a the money that the beneficiary gets is good money. Right. So that is the first uh, that is the right. risk management. Risk management in terms of technology is also robust. Uh, risk man risk of a trans a money going to the wrong account also we have prevented by a principle of pari parity check. So in no case the money can go to a wrong account. If this customer by mistake he gives the wrong mobile number or wrong MMID. MMID is the one that does the parity check right. with, the, right. um, uh, with the mobile number. If there is any one of them, there is any one of it, there is some mistake, it would immediately, Reject. the transaction would get rejected. So that also really we have prevented. Uh, dispute so far has been nil because we see to it that if the money cannot really be credited to the customer's account within a specific period of time of three minutes, the money will come back to the uh, to the sender. So the disputes also we have really addressed. So this is about risk management part. Then now the second part that you asked, how are you going to reach out to 700 million people? Uh, yes, that is a, that is an issue because uh, this is. It, lot of customer education is required. Education, education, education. Out of 21 banks which have already gone live, only two banks have been doing advertisement on the newspaper for their customers. Other banks, uh, they are planning. NPCI has, uh, has been preparing the creatives and giving it to the banks to mm -hmm. facilitate the process of uh, doing the advertisement. Uh, NPCI has been going to the training colleges of individual banks to train the people uh, uh, in the individual banks so that they in turn can train the customers. Uh, training is not, a, uh, it is not a big job, but at the same time interest to train has to be there. Mm. Time and energy has to be really <coughs> put to this. Mm. So getting the really people is, education is the key and we have just started. I suppose 21 banks are there, 9 are in the post of, uh, in the process of certification, 30 banks, thereafter really our whole focus would be on training. Does this in, in the end create a level playing field in the, pay, in, the, in the space of mobile payment that a small bank can succeed in it as much as a big bank? Uh, because the investment that <coughs> is required is uh, not very large, even small banks can do this out of 21 banks. There is one cooperative banks also, which has really started the service. There are a few large banks which are yet to yet to join us. So, the it depends on how uh, the senior management of the banks looks at mobile as the channel. There are a good number of techno savvy uh, banks, even commercial banks, who have shown a lot of interest because the tech, the commercial banks are also now competing with the commercial banks. They would like to s demonstrate that they are as good as commercial banks so far as the servicing is concerned. And they have been really joining us. They have shown interest. Mr. Nota, thank you so much. And we hope to be able to update on, on the development sure. in the years to come. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.